So what's your best camera solution for course creation in 2022? Let's find out. When it comes to camera choices for course creation, there are actually four different categories from you to choose from. And we're going to go through those four categories in a little bit of detail. But quickly, they are, number one, they are your built-in solution. So that's the camera that's probably inside your laptop or inside your desktop monitor, right? That's a built-in solution. Number two is your external webcam, which you maybe have purchased or could purchase and plug into your computer. Number three is your mobile device. Pretty much any smartphone these days has a very capable camera inside it. And yes, you can absolutely use that to create your course content. Again, we'll go into a little bit more detail in just a moment. And last but certainly not least is your DSLR, which you may or may not already own. That's your dedicated camera, a very capable device. So by the end of this video, you will actually have learned what is the right camera for you to create your course content. That's what we're going to achieve in this short video. OK, so before I go into any detail and explain the different genres and the pros and cons, I'm actually going to ask you to kind of make a best guess. If you had to decide right now, before I've given you the information, which camera would you be using for your course creation? What do you think? And the reason I'm asking you that now is because I want you to think, give it some thought. And also really interested to see if your position has changed by the end of this video. And, and perhaps leave me a little comment below. I really love, just for my own curiosity, really like to know if your first guess was correct for you or if you've changed your mind a little bit as a result of this short video. That would be really helpful for me. So please let me know in the comments below. So the whole purpose of this video is to find out what is the right camera solution for you, not for me, but for you. So the, probably the thing that's going to make the biggest decision or biggest impact in your decision is what type of videos are you going to be producing. For most people, they are producing, you know, 90 to 100% of their content is, you know, talking head, head to camera videos like this one. And if that's you, then that's, that's great. And then any of those four categories are still appropriate for you. If, however, for whatever reason, you want to include quite a lot of on-location videography or videos, then clearly a web camera and a built-in solution is not going to be a solution, right? If you've got a monitor with a built-in um, camera, you physically are not going to be able to drag that around. And whilst technically you could plug in your external webcam into a laptop and, and drag that around a field, Clearly, you don't want to be doing that. At the very least, it's incredibly cumbersome and you know there are better solutions. So very simply, if you need on-location videos, then that limits you to basically a mobile phone or a DSLR solution. But if you're not expecting to do live stuff, then all of the above is still fair game for you. Right, so let's go into a little bit more detail now. So I'm recording this video using my inbuilt camera inside my MacBook Air. Now this isn't the latest model actually, this is a slightly older computer due for a renewal soon. Uh, I think this is 2018. But what you can see is it's grainy, right? It's not great quality. Now as I record this I'm sat in front of a huge, what probably, I was about to say 10 foot, it's probably 12 foot high windows with decent sunlight coming through. And then on top of that, I've got actually three different lights on me right now, uh, albeit not full, full strength. So I've got a huge amount of light on me. So I'm doing everything I can to kind of help this camera along. But still, you can see it's a really grainy image. And I don't think it's acceptable. I personally would not create uh, course content using a built-in camera. Now, I'm sure somebody's going to be watching this video and maybe give me a hard time. Not all inbuilt cameras are built the same, Simon. You know, how dare you, you know, paint everybody the same brush. You're absolutely right. Of course, they change. But as a general rule, inbuilt webcams suck. They do. And for course creation, I don't think they are good enough quality. I really don't. And I would be urging you to, to find a different and better solution. And it's kind of a half an exception to that that I've personally seen is the new uh, cameras built into the new IMAX. I think they're 2021, those Macs came out and they've got a much, much better camera in them and they are producing 
pretty good images. I think, yes, if I'm really honest, you probably could get away with using that for your video content. However, I would still say there's better solutions and you wouldn't have as much future proofing built into the stuff you're making. So remember that your course should be fairly evergreen. You know, you want it to last, not one year, not two years, but really I would say a minimum of five years. It's worth putting a little bit of time and effort creating a really good course because it's gonna last five, 10 plus years. And so you want to basically use the best kind of video capturing tools that you can, and for me, that rules out inbuilt webcams. Okay, so I'm now recording on an external webcam. This is the Ava Media PW513. Always have really catchy, nice titles, don't they? And as you can see, this is a pretty good image, and I think you'll agree, you know, a massive step up from the inbuilt solution. Now, as I record this, I think this is the most expensive webcam on the market, and as a result, is arguably the best quality as well. And I, from all I've seen, the research I've done, I do think this is the best quality out there. This is a 4K capable device. There aren't many 4K webcams out there. No doubt there'll be more coming out in the near future. Again, just to touch on this, you know, I do think it's important to try and build sort of future proofing into your solution. So if you are deciding to invest in a camera, then, you know, personally, I would look at a minimum of a 2K, 4K being even better. That said, that doesn't mean not all 4K cameras are the same quality, right? Not all 2K cameras are the same quality. That's not a description of quality, that's just resolution. I mean, one camera on the market, which is only a 1K, which is, from what I've seen, very good, is the Elgato face cam. But for me, just not enough pixels in there to give me enough future proofing. But ones I would consider if I were you, I would consider this Ava Media. This is around $200, that sort of price range. Maybe a little bit cheaper is a Logitech Brio, another 4K device. And I think with the Logitech, you can actually change the angle of the lens. And that is actually a really interesting point. And often, I think I, as a course creator, would prefer a narrower lens. Most webcams are very wide, which is a better fit for streamers. They usually like the wide angle, it gets more of their room in, and they can kind of a bit more of a setup in the background. But for course creators, I think usually you prefer a narrow. That's certainly I do. So that is something I would consider. And so you can take a look at the quality yourself and decide if this is a suitable level. If you are in the market and do decide to go the webcam route, then I wouldn't personally invest in something less than $100. And you know, money is not a bad barometer of quality. But above that, you're starting to get a, you know, a capable device. But spending $20, $30 on a webcam, you're just not going to get good enough quality. I wouldn't go there. I think that would be a waste of your money. And I just wanted to quickly show you the difference between a camera that's been kind of optimized and you spent a little bit of time setting the levels and an image that hasn't. And these two images, the really burnt out bright one and the, the better one, are both come from exactly the same device. Just one's had 10 seconds of work changing the settings in it. So settings does matter and whatever solution you use, it is going to be worth just a couple of minutes of your time going into the settings and doing a little bit of adjustment there to get the very best quality. Okay, so we're now shooting on a mobile phone. This is actually a very old mobile phone. This is an iPhone 7, which I've still got lying around somewhere. It's still a totally capable device when it comes to using cameras, etc. This is using the back camera. So not the selfie camera, which would be less uh, quality, using the back camera. And you can take a look yourself in terms of what you think about the quality of the image. Uh, I have made just a few subtle adjustments to the sort of the brightness and the exposure level to try and create the best image here. For the most part, this is the default settings of the camera. And now I'm shooting on an iPhone 13, so obviously another mobile device. As I recall this, this is the latest iPhone available on the market, and this is the mini version. This has got two different lenses on the back of it, and I'm using the telephoto, more narrow angled lens here. And I hope you agree, I think this is a really good quality image. 
and basically all modern smartphones have exceptional cameras inside them so why not use the camera you've already got inside your pocket and for course creators I would suggest this is the best solution for most people out there. If you've got a really old mobile phone and you're thinking about reinvesting maybe this is the time to reinvest and use that device to shoot and create your course content on. The only thing that is a little bit frustrating perhaps about doing it this way is of course you don't have access to your mobile phone whilst you're recording. It's going to be trapped inside a tripod, not so easy to use. You don't want to be moving your tripod around a lot whilst you're doing your video. So that's something to, to bear in mind. So I don't think it's a good webcam solution on a day-to-day -day basis, but for course creators, I think it's a great solution. So I'd like to invite you along to Crash Course. Crash Course is a online course that's designed for authors, for coaches, for consultants, for subject matter experts of any description. This is a highly unique course designed for beginners, people that haven't created a course before, or those that have created a course before but looking to raise their game and take it to the different level. Lots of different sections to lead you all the way through from wherever you are right now to the doorsteps of having your own course released. Easy to follow steps and pro tips throughout. Now you can take this course on your desktop, on your laptop, on your mobile phone, on a tablet, on any and all of your devices. For more information, just jump over to www.expert-velocity.com forward slash crash course. And the last category, which we're just going to cover very, very quickly, is the DSLR. Now, this is the easiest category to cover because if you've already got one, use it. So as long as it's got video capability, then yes, of course, you should use your DSLR. Just mount it on a good tripod and you're good to go. And it's also going to give you the most flexibility and potentially the highest quality. Now, if you haven't don't already own one of those devices, you know, just know that it's going to cost you $300, $400 or more to get a good video capable device, DSLR, which is a significant amount of investment. And personally, if I don't already own one of those devices, I wouldn't buy it specifically for course creation. I think you can use it on a mobile phone and produce, you know, very, very good quality content without that additional expense. So it's decision time. What have you decided to do? Please do let me know in the comments below. Is it going to be your inbuilt webcam? Is it going to be your external webcam? Is it going to be your smartphone or is it going to be your DSLR? I've given you my thoughts and views. I really think for the vast majority of people, your smartphone, your mobile phone is going to be the right solution. Um, the quality on the cameras these days are really exceptional. So if you've got a recent phone, that's probably going to be the right solution. Um, if you already own a DSLR with good video capabilities, then you know you can also interchange the lens, which is a great asset. That is the right solution for sure. Of course, use that if you already own it. Is it worth going and investing in a high quality DSLR, spending four, five hundred, maybe a thousand, up to a thousand dollars, or even more on a DSLR? I'm not sure it is, unless you are using that, of course, for other purposes. But I'm not sure it would be the smart investment if it's just for course creation. So that's my views, my thoughts. Please do let me know. I'd love to hear what your solution is. I'd love to hear about your courses as well. So do tell me about those. That's it from me. Over and out. Catch you.